Hey guys, it's May May and it's time for another gift card holder. I hope you're being inspired by these and not thinking they're only gift card holders because they also can give you ideas for other things, right? You can use these small things we're doing on cards, in scrapbook pages, etc., right? And today's is a good example of that. We are going to make Rudolph, but in an unusual way. So, remember this stamp we used recently? This one is called the Envelope Please. Let me show you. You get all these little envelopes in this one. This is the one we're going to use today, the big one, but there's two other sizes. Perfect for cards. You could do this literal guy on a card. Okay, now when we designed this stamp, we made it to fit gift cards, so it's kind of a no-brainer that I would use it a lot for gift cards. This piece is a brown piece that is four and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. I'm just going to put that in the corner, and I'm going to ink this up with some VersaFine Onyx Black. And again, like I told you last time, when you're inking up these big images like this, make sure you're taking that ink pad up and down, up and down, up and down, not tipping it in. When you go like this with your ink, you get it on this inside, and that's not where we want it. We only want it where the image is. So I take my time and make sure I get everything up and down. Okay, and then I'm going to send that over and stamp it. Now I'm going to use, I got to grab it, my Impressible. It was way up high, <laughs> but I got it. And I'm going to press this guy down. And this will get us a round envelope. Do you already know where we're going? I think this is going to be adorable. Let's just see how this looks. I haven't made it. I just have it in my brain. I feel like I've done stuff similar to this over the years, but I'm going to tell you all something. I've made so many videos. They're starting to kind of roll together. So if you guys see me make something and go, I don't think I've ever tried this. And then you're like, yeah, you did. And like, you know, 1999. I don't know. They're starting to roll together, y'all. All right, so I'm going to trim this out. And I'm trimming it right to the line. You can do this with your trimmer if you're not comfortable with scissors. No worries. Just pick your trimmer up and do it there. But I don't mind my scissors. I like these long scissors. These are fantastic. Get this little guy here. And I'm going to trim out all of the flat edges just like so, get this little guy here. And then I'm gonna change scissors. I've got one little bit to get here. I'm gonna change scissors and get the little um, snips we need to make in the, in the sides here. So I'm changing scissors because this finer tip will not rip the paper at the end. If you use these thicker ones like this, when you close them at the end, it'll sometimes rip the paper because it's they're not made for precision. Those are more your workhorse scissors. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna cut out these little nips to make this guy an envelope. And you'll notice that these are not little squares or perfect triangles. I did that on purpose because I don't want any bulk in this envelope. So the way we laid this little stamp out is so you wouldn't have any bulk. Also, if you don't want to cut this out, if you would rather have it cut out for you, there's a free SVG that goes along with the stamp set. You can just cut it on your electronic cutting machine. All right, let's fold. Now, I just roll this up until I see the straight straight edge. I just roll it like this, get it into place, and then bone fold it. How many of us look for our bone folder all day? I do. Okay, and then this one over here, right to that edge. I love turning these envelopes into little characters. I think it is so cute. And what I think is going to work so cute about this is the point of the envelope. I think it's really going to show off the reindeer. All right, so I got that one down. Now, I normally would tuck these under here, and you can do that too. But I'm thinking maybe for a change, I might, I don't know, I like that too. You can do it either way, but I was thinking for a change, I would do it this way. No. No. I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna do it the way I always do it. So here's what that means. I'm gonna fold this down, grab my glue, and I'm just gonna run a bead of glue up this side and this side, and just bring this over into that glue and close it down. Now you might have some spill out, that's okay. Just rub it away. Um, that, I didn't have any spill out, I'm shocked. I always have a spill of glue. Then I'm gonna take this and fold the top down just like we did the sides. Love it. All right, so we got it all creased down. Now, can you see how that's going to be a reindeer face? I think it will be perfect. Let me show you my next step. Now, I'm going to use this branch punch. This is one I love. I keep this in my stash. It works for every season and everything you do. And I'm going to turn this into antlers. I'm going to try to get two out of this scrap of paper that I have, but I'm not sure it's big enough. I'm going to try to make this happen. If it's not, I've got some more of this color. So I'm going to punch that guy out. He shot across the page. So there's one antler. 
These, this branch punch is perfect for antlers. And then the second one. There's that guy. Now, in hindsight, I might should have used a lighter color for my deer. These are two different colors. I'll show you. One is darker. See that? I think a lighter color might have been cute, but that's pretty cute like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these to the back just like this. I'm not too concerned about... Actually, we could just glue them to the front, and they'll be even cuter. It doesn't really matter which side you put them on. Everybody will understand these are antlers. So, I'm going to put a little glue here. The one thing I will caution you about is if you're using a paper that has a pattern, where mine is just solid, but this done in pattern would be cute too, make sure you punch your antlers where one can go in this direction. You see, because if it's a two side, if it's a single sided paper, you'll have to do them in a different way. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, this is cute. Now I know, this one will be fragile. This would be for Gile, because you don't want these little antlers to get messed up. But look how cute they are. And you could add the little nubs, you know, the little nubs that they sometimes have, or a, a set of ears would be cute. I may even try ears in a second. Let's go on to the nose and the eyes. I don't know which one I want. I don't know if I want a scallop nose or just a solid, like a smooth nose. So I'm going to punch out from this red glitter, this piece that is a three quarter of an inch circle. So I've got that one, but I'm going to do a scallop also. This is a three quarter inch scallop circle, and I'm going to see which one I like best. I'm not sure. One might look more festive. The little scallop is super cute, isn't it? But let's look at the solid one. Also super cute. I think I like this one best. I'm going to go with it. So I'm going to glue this one down. And you could even go bigger. Let me show you. Because I think this is cute. So that's a three-quarter inch. If you do a one inch, I want to show you how you can change the faces. I think this is so fun. Playing with the look of the little characters. Just by changing the sizes of things, Look how much more, oh look, the one inch is super cute. See how silly he looks like that? I think we're gonna use the one inch. That one's cute, but I think I like the one inch. Yeah, I'm going with it. I like the one inch best, and I like it because it makes him look a little silly, you know? Let's put a little glue here and put down our circle. Just glue that down like so. Too stinking cute. <laughs> And then on that same idea of making him look a little silly, let me tell you, you could just draw two little dot eyes right here and that would be adorable. I think I'm gonna punch some. So I punched out two half inch circles. I want you to see the size. See those? To me, they don't work as well. I think a tiny eye looks better. So watch, I'm gonna show you how we get that. If you have a punch like this one that has all these different sizes from 1 16th all the way up to 5 16th, I'm thinking the quarter inch is what I want. Let me get this paper and try it out. So, using a piece of black, I'm going to punch two of these. So, when you punch from this kind of punch, you can see these are a little bit curved. It won't matter. You're going to glue them down flat. But look at the difference. I'm kind of flattening it in my fingers. Look at the difference with the small eye. Isn't it just cuter? It just gives him such a comical face, right? So, let's glue those on. And I like to, to do them close together and close to the nose. I think that's cute. So since they're little, I'm going to use my quick stick to save me a little bit of headache. And I'm also going to turn them over so the curve is facing down. Place that one like that. Cool beans. Now let's place this one over here. Excellent. A little glue seepage. No biggie. All right, so there's that. See how cute that is? I, I love to play like that. Then he needs a little bit of brightness. So I want you to grab a white pen. And we're going to put a little bit of brightness right here in the top of his eye. And you can do it with just a dot or with kind of a curvy dash like that. Doesn't he just need that? I think it's cute. Now, somebody asked me yesterday, but where would you write your sentiment? I'm going to show you what I would do. So I cut a little piece here that's two by three. And on the back of our little um, gift card holder, we can put this little piece and you can stamp it, write on it, to and from, put a little sentiment at the top, whatever you want to do. But this is where I do that. And on the other side, I would leave it like this and put my gift card in it. We'll do that in just a second. Let's glue this guy down. Because I can always come back and stamp on it or stamp on it beforehand. If you're not super confident in your stamping skills, stamp beforehand. Don't put it down and then stamp. So we're going to put this guy here. And then we're going to add our gift card inside. So I'm just going to lift this guy up 
and slide this guy in. Made perfectly for a gift card. Isn't that cute? Okay, so you could give him just like this without a closure, or you could add a piece of Velcro or a magnet. I wouldn't waste a magnet on a gift like this, but I would show you what I will show you what I could do. These little mini glue dots, even though they say permanent, let me show you. They come out like this. You just pick one off of this little guy. Can you see the glue dot there? Get him where you can see him. There's the little glue dot. And what you do is you put it on the little back side, like so. And they are not super sticky. I know they say permanent. But what I do is just kind of touch it a couple times, like so. And then you can close this down just like this, and it will hold. And you can open it. See that? And you can even peel this off. Watch. I can just roll it away. See that? So they work really good for that. It's a great way to close this guy up if you don't want to use a magnet, which I wouldn't waste a magnet. So there you go, a little reindeer holder. I think that's adorable and easy for you to make for all your gift giving. I'm gonna stick his nose down again because I think it's cute like that. Let's add a little dot. Who knows who I can do this? Look, the dot didn't come off. <laughs> Let's try it again. It's on the it's on the paper. That's weird. I have never had that happen like that. Not with the little guys. It happens with the big guys, but not the little guys. All right, get him a little less sticky because he's pretty sticky and stick him down. Super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Super fun little project. Last minute for you. If you just need to run to the store and grab a gift card and you want to throw something together, you probably have this in your stash. Hey, thanks so much for being here today. Don't forget, we have a lot of inspiration for you over on our website at maymaymadeit.com where you can also pick up the supplies I showed you today. And don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot going on right now. We have a big giveaway which I'll link the entry to the giveaway in the description of this video if you want to go enter. We're giving away 12 prizes for Christmas. And then right after that, we're doing our 300,000 subscriber giveaway at the first of the year. So stick around so you can be a part of all those giveaways. Thanks so much for being here today. And until next time, bye now.